okay hello everybody here we go again <laughs> fucking hell playing dwarves um got a claw mate in a claw palm if i induce any if i scum a wizard it just give him more inducements He's got, hasn't actually got very much Mighty Blow, has he? To be fair, for a Dwarf team at 1600. He's got a hell of a record. Uh, he's gonna have a wizard. I guess if I buy, a, if I buy a wizard, he just gets a wizard anyway, so it doesn't even isn't even that matter. Doesn't even matter that much. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> He's getting a wizard, whatever happens. So <sighs> going down the blaze of glory. Crimson Fox won last night. So now, if I win this, Andy Devo has to win and Crimson Fox has to win. As it stood, I was on the cusp of going out if Andy Devo found the time to play a game and win. I obviously would win because everyone he plays is absolutely awful. So. <laughs> Hello, see you owls. Hello, Emperor Augustus. Hello, Soul Forged BB. At least now there's a chance of him not taking the wizard, isn't there? Seize Gonzara. <laughs> Operation successful. No wizard to have to face. Obviously, Zara's pretty badass. She's a badass, but. Is she better than a wizard? Oh, maybe he's watching the stream. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, he gets a chainsaw. I gave him a chainsaw. Shit. Yeah, I played till 2 a.m., but then fucking Crimson Fox played a game afterwards. Oh, and I gave him loads of stars. Oh, no. Oh, God, he's got Flint and Boomer. Maybe I shouldn't have got the wizard. But at least I've got a wizard. I can't wait his wizard. <laughs> All in on the last game. Oh, it's Blood Killer Macho. That's from Fumble, isn't it? Is that... Did you know from Fumble? I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, won the toss. Good. Um... Yeah, not top birds. De base one too. So, I supposedly could just win one, maybe, and still get back top. So I could have gone with a Brett game right now. But as fucked up as these Chaos are, they're still better than the Bretts. <laughs> Just gives him another player, doesn't it? Protect his guys. It's sick that, like, we're, like, 8th, ninth, and 10th on the ladder. <laughs> or maybe even higher than that. And one of us isn't going to qualify. Whereas, like, uh, bloody Shawnee's down there in about 30th with 
rats as qualified, like with rats of all races. Skaven, Skaven are where are Skaven? 20th. And he's top Skaven at 20th. Meanwhile, at the moment, Crimson Fox is 7th. I'm 8th. And Andy Davo's 10th. So if Andy Davo was to win, he'd be 7th, Crimson Fox would be 8th, and I'd be 9th and not qualify for a wild card with a 9th team on the ladder. That would be pretty bad. But if I lose this, at least I've lost it myself. I didn't want to. I didn't want to just put my uh, put my fate, leave my fate in the hands of somebody else. Five power and elf catcher with dodge plus movement, obviously, and doubles and a nad five thrower. That's interesting, isn't it? Probably his guard. Probably in Pro Augustus, yeah. Hello, little bass. <laughs> We've got Team Fantastic shirts, you know, already. Me and my mates had them made. Um, but, um,. Oh, Poncho DLV, yeah, gotta play early. Gotta play early to qualify, fucking nightmare. Crimson Fox won last night. It's too easy for, uh... It's too easy for... to get overtaken. Because Crimson Fox doesn't have to play, that was the thing. If Crimson Fox hadn't played, and they both had to play to overtake, I wouldn't have played. Glorious. I love the ASMR group scratching. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very, very much. Super, mega, ultra, VIP, last frogman. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you for staying fantastic. Oh. Hello, hello Sena89 as well. Oh. Glorious Sena89. Um. Hello Jelly Deals. Um. Oh, I'm already in the playoff. Well, Puppy81. Not if Andy Davo plays a game and wins this morning. Which. A little bird told me he was getting his fucking shift change so that he could. <laughs> Aha, brilliant. Good stadium. Save me from dwarves banging on me. <laughs> Fucking hell. Region one after we can get him in a mind. Been a devastating turn so far, hasn't it? <laughs> 
fucking doors, man. No need to go forward, is there? I'll go a little bit forward in case he bolts us in the backfield. That's an absolute fucking map. No work till one. <laughs> well, there you go then, little bad. So he did get a change. Oh. Not really in Prit Augustus, no. Just just getting the miss next game tackler back is is good though, isn't it, for the first round of the playoffs potentially. But just how you know, I couldn't rely on Andy not winning, could I? Hello, Fash been there. <sighs> Fucking hell. Well, last night and now I wouldn't. I would have done if I could have done, but um, yeah. Because <sighs> at least it would be over one way or the other. I didn't want to. It's just, it's just stupid though, because I think I won four in a row. At the end, I think I won four in a row. Crimson Fox won six in a row, and uh, Andy's won five, drawn one. And he should have, he should have fucking lost one for sure. <laughs> that fucking guy with the chops. Unbelievable. Ah, he's hitting the rookie. Good. Yeah, I saw that Christopher had lost. Yeah, exactly, Imperator Augustus. It's just literally impossible. Mm hmm. I mean, getting out bashed isn't that unlikely, is it? But at least he's piled on, so I can fuck off over here next time. Early start. Go on hard season 11. I guess not Thor. I'm going to have to have a break after this match. To uh, change my dressing. What do you mean, Fash? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Fash been. Oh. Fumble and hit everybody. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Guess I should have done it with a rookie, shouldn't I? Don't know why I did it with a, with a guard warrior. Sidestep. GFI to blitz him. Put guard in there. Block him or something. It's fucking rough, isn't it? I guess just blitz him with claw. Claw mighty. Well, he doesn't have guards, so after blitzing him, he can block safely. A GFI to claw pom though, is just way better, isn't it? Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, fucking dwarves, man, of all the fucking teams. Why did it have to be dwarves? Friends is problematic, isn't it, with everybody? So I've got to block the guard. No, oh, yeah, he just ran it. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> rookie. Rookie beast man gets a fucking cars. Look at this, the disdain of appling a badly hurt. Fucking turn two. What a cunt. I think tag him is worth it. VIP Pedro Jack. Um, yeah, Crimson would have to, no. Crimson would just have to play one more after this. Um, we'll just one dice me for a Kaz, but also it stops him using the wizard, doesn't it? Because then he he would have to dodge away on one in nine to dodge away. So he he might just one dice us for a Kaz, but if he follows, he's getting hit by a tackle. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so VIP Pedro asked what the crack is. The crack is, Crimson Fox played last night after I played. Yeah, I knew he was going to get sword, unfortunately. I couldn't not follow, though, could I, with him having fucking frenzy? Um, so, Crimson Fox played last night after I did at 2 a.m. <laughs> um, so, if Andy Devo wins one, he beats, he goes ahead of both of us. Um, if I win one, I go ahead of Crimson Fox, and then Crimson Fox, if Crimson Fox won one, he would have the same points as me, I believe. So I don't know who would win if he just wins one after this. Yeah, there's like two hours left, yeah. This has been a pretty slow one, considering he's dwarf, you know, he's dwarf, so he's just taking up all the time every turn. Decision easy, didn't it? I think. Yeah, he's just gonna one dice me for a cast. <sighs> Good call, Fash. That's what you get for trying to fucking play the game, isn't it? Eh?
good. Wiz is going to be devastating now, but there's nothing I can do, is there? Hello, Mayu. Yeah, that ladder is reset in two hours. Who's Hades Trooper? Is that somebody famous? Did you re-roll just a base? Fucking hell. He's gone full shit cunt. <laughs> Push just to fucking base. Well, no, he, he got a push, so he could have base. He could have helped her base, base, base anyway. Oh, this is really rough next turn, though, isn't it? With everyone knocked down. Fucking hell. Oh, that was nice of him. <sighs> Unless this guy's got to stand fur. Yeah, he does. All right, wasn't that nice of him? Four guys being pwned by that fucking chainsaw. I can't even use the wizard really. Fireball these four. It's only fucking turn three. Oh man, it stuns the ball. <laughs> oh, what a cunt. Right, well, I've got a fireball his four, the next. <laughs> that was all right, I guess. <laughs> right, claw pong can claw pong him. Ah, 
I think I have to not pile on. Tragically. Oh, that drops him in though. Ah, oh, well, he's trapped in anyway. So it's a dodge. And a GFIs or some. This is horrific. Can't just stand him if he's going to have to dodge out at the end. Can't give up a free hit from the chainsaw, but then yeah, I just can't. Can I? Right. So he can. He could just stand up, I guess. And he covers these guys a bit. Three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Just a rookie, you can take it. He's fucking mighty blow, strength four mighty blow, so can't take that hit. Yep, yeah, that's my luck. I guess I should have just left him lying down, eh? Should have appled that. Fuck, I only have to win. Oh god, I should have appled it. Oh shit, what a non apple. <sighs> Eyes and shut. Oh fuck. Yeah, I should have appled it, shouldn't I? Because this is the last game. Deaths don't matter. Well, what's the point of qualifying if you qualifying this should be well it's better than not qualifying, isn't it? I've gone full looper. Should have appled that, fuck's sake. Well at least he didn't get hit by Mighty Blow, eh? Nah, it is that bad a non apple, he's called Mighty Blow, isn't he? And tackle. It's a horrible non apple. Horrible, horrible non apple. If this was the final for five hundred euros. I would have appled it in a heartbeat. Fuck! Oh. <sighs> no, well, yeah, but I mean, that's okay, it doesn't do anything, it just saves him the dodge. What a fucking non apple. <sighs> Focus. It's on the paper. Number one thing. Didn't. I mean, in my defense, it is fucking 9 a.m. Well, not, not so he loses his weapons, just so I fucking score at all <laughs> at this point. Um, oh, that's the, that's the killer. Oh, I can't hit him because he's got dodge, hasn't he? So I've got to hit this way. Can anyone reach us if I just stand on the line? No. 
So I probably should have done safe moves first. He's strength four. We both got a guard. Hmm. Could blitz with him and then run over here and then get the two dice block on him as well. Yeah, I guess it's worth it, isn't it? got out bashed to fuck after receiving that's just fucking shit isn't it but he uses up when I fucking didn't so can't fucking complain can I what an idiot I didn't do it all night no I just had one game one game at night Yeah, somebody surpassed us in the night, yeah, that's correct. Oh, fucking hell, that non-apple, though. Holy shit, I'm so bad. So bad at Blood Bowl. I haven't got any tackle for his bodge stepper now. Claw Pummer, activate. See, strength four. Oh, he's guard.
Yeah, after school. No, it's not looking good. Lemon is good. I didn't apple. So at least it's my fault. Like the dead, like the dead claw pommer, at least it's my fault. Didn't apple him. Only badly hurt, which is why I didn't apple him. But uh, if I don't win this game, I'm not getting the playoffs, am I? So I should have appled him. He's got three, six, nine, ten. And I've got ten. I guess I might go to eleven. Yeah, I should have fucking. Fuck, that was a bad non apple. I've got to do like a crossbow variant, haven't I, here? Oh, and the wrestle stayed out. Fucking course he did. So got no way to deal with his ball carrier whatsoever. Just a bunch of rookie goats. <sighs> I've got to let him get knocked over with Mighty Blow, haven't I, I guess? I guess is the play. At least that spreads out his guards. And he could go for a hit on him. Just I couldn't could I Riku. <laughs> he'd, he'd fireball. <laughs> he had absolutely left my drive in tatters. And um the only thing I could do was uh Yeah, the only you know, he he I had lost a cage due to him just fucking making KOs and uh and stuns. He made loads of stuns, he used his wizard. And then, uh, so I, I just didn't have anything else I could do, really. I had to use my own wizard as well, which is fair. At least the wizard counted his wizard. So now we're playing without inducements. Um, because both of his have been sent off as well. So it was definitely worth to induce the wizard. Because I bought a fireball as the higher TV team lemon is good. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought I just fucking had to. Oh, a blots. Right, so being clever here, he's the one who can score, isn't he? And pretty much, him if he's really lucky. But pretty much he's the only scoring threat. If you blitz from here, there's no guards on him. And just two dice, and straight up. So just free him up, make it easier for him. Up to up, base, base, base. <sighs> Could have been a good bounce, couldn't it? <sighs> what we need is a quad skull 
into Beastman Recovery Touchdown. That would be amazing. Spacey Fagor the Threat. <laughs> oh, God. More removals. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I can't up all that one, can I? Dave was 1-0 down at the half. Oh, shit. Right, so if he draws and I draw... Now I've got to open more, Drek. Sorry for the quality of the stream. What the fuck? I can't even quit Discord here. This is doing my nothing. I shouldn't have left Discord running. At least he's rolled a few gym pals. And if he fails the pickup, it's still not enough, is there? There's not enough on the ball. If he, he just needed to turn over before he tried the pickup, that's what was required. He's left the tempter surf out there, hasn't he? Oh no, he hasn't blitzed yet. His dodges with this agility fall guy. I mean, the the good thing is with this kick, that runner really can't score. He's only got potentially the Slayer low odds, isn't he? The Slayer's lower. Both Slayers are still potential scoring threats, though low odds. So. He can block him, he can block him, he can block him, he can GFI to POM him. Or alternatively, he could run around, blitz him, and then push him into there. Hmm. Do I, do I want to? Okay, I do want to. I want to blitz him, don't I? I just want to make sure I get it done. Then it's just more dice to knock him down. Hmm. <sighs> Not easy. Shame that he's got two canoring threats, isn't it? Like I don't have to risk the. Uh, he can't stand. He can still stand up and score, actually. So all right, risk it for a biscuit.
At least he's tagged there, isn't he? Right, so if I get a pow here. Can GF fight the claw on him. And that also means he can go here. There's a bit more cover. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <sighs> you know, I guess I should judge that guy out to try and base the ball, shouldn't I? Dodge blitz recover ball in GA fight away at score. Yeah, I should have based the ball, shouldn't I? Fuck. That was dumb. I just did the did the rage end turn. Oh, I wish I hadn't played now, Juhanian. I blew all my bank as well in the last, in the last, because <laughs> it was the last game probably. Okay now. And didn't apple that claw, fuck me. Right. Let's have a look at Mordre. ladder. So, a draw here puts us on 79.48 and a draw for Andy Dabo puts on him on 79.39. So if you both draw, I win. Um, <laughs> and if I win, I'm in because Crimson Fox won't have time to play. Oh, thank God for that. Thank fucking God for that. Right, Spacey Fagor's in with a shot, isn't he? <laughs> Blitz him and then recover and score. God, that would be outrageous. Don't give up a block, do I? Or a surf. I guess so. I guess giving up the surf is the uh, is worse than giving up the block. Stand up, you fuckhead! Yes! Got one! <laughs> Crimson Fox is playing a game. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man, crazy! Crimson Fox was like, I won't. <laughs> Crimson Fox was like, I won't have time to play two games. <laughs> Three games. <laughs> Go there so we can't sidestep to that square, I guess. Nah, boo. Nah, he definitely can't score now. <laughs> so... He's going to get two dice, so we might as well. One dice seems is better than dodging. If I'd done that at the end of the last turn, wouldn't have made any difference. But I should have dodged and based him, I guess.
when he was getting banged on. Oh man. No, Andy down 2 0. Yes! Alright. So if he loses and I lose, let's see what happens if we both lose. I've closed fucking Mordrek. Oh wow. So if, if he loses, then I can lose this game even, I think then. Oh, thank God for that. Regret fucking wasting my bank though now and playing the game at all. Carry got killed by a lightning ball. Yeah, that was my fear in this. Right, is the wrestle guy back? Yeah, wrestle Fagors is back. Three, six, nine versus ten. So players up just. I think the wide LOS is good against these dwarves, isn't it, with all of their guard? Likely to get at least one removal on the LOS, doesn't he? So, but then a draw is all right now, isn't it? Random permanent space if I go. Oh yeah, I guess for, it's bad. Yeah, it would have been better if I had won and uh, Crimson Fox had lost. So me and Andy went through would have been best for me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, one hour, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's true, Goldie. For a <laughs> for a competitively winning the tournament, I guess I would rather have a shit chaos team in than a good chaos team. Oh, wow. Another, another blots. <laughs> Fucking random. I can't even all-mans him because he just all-mans me more, doesn't he? With all of his guard. And just one dice fucks me to death for all mans. I can't blitz that guy anyway. Let's just blitz this one, eh? Good old, uh, the classic L screen there, coming in orange. Fox is down to six players in the first half, oh man. Oh yeah, that's true, BZL. Loss would lose less points for Crimson Fox. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just start the stream at the normal time of half 12 UK time. And uh, so I can have a bit of a break to change change the dressing on my toes. Um, right, the ladder at the moment, Kurgol, is, I shall tell you, I've got, I've, got, I've got you guys covered. Give me a moment. So at the moment, the first place Chaos team is Zugzwang with 80.73, so they've won. Oh, they've won another game. Um, and he's, he's still playing, is he? 
I don't know if he's in-game or if this is counted the game that he's just... He, he's in-game at the moment. So at the moment... At the moment, Crimson Fox is top, Chaos, with 80.73. I thought he'd only played one game, but he played two. If he loses, it doesn't hurt him that much. He goes down to 79.08. If Andy Dave Andy Dave was in 79.84, if he loses, he goes to 77.78. So, <laughs> yeah, it's looking like Crimson Fox is qualifying with a loss at this point, as long as Andy Devo loses, which he's 2-0 down versus Elves. So it looks like he's going to lose. So it looks like the result of this matter doesn't matter at all, and it looks like it's going to be me and Crimson Fox. He's in game, so yeah, so he actually... I saw that he'd overtaken us. I thought he'd only played one game, but obviously he'd played the two games overtake us because he was 80.27 after one win and 80.73 after two which but that puts him at equal points after my win um, focus yeah focus yeah conceding might actually be the best for him if, if he knows Andy Devo is losing <laughs> fucking crazy isn't it I could concede this one now. <laughs> what a strange situation. Right, he did foul him. He's got two guards in, so it's not going to be easy, is it? Oh, there's no, there's no guard on him. There's not even point in me going for the ball, actually. Oh, huge. Huge, huge KO. Don't stand him up. Get that. Get that's good. That gets a guard into this fight, doesn't it? With a push. So the current is is going to be ah yeah it's minus on him isn't it fuck so I can just one dice him and there's no way to get another assist is there so maybe just blitz him down and uh, I'll blitz him down blitz him down. What's the strength of four mighty blow down? No. Could he run all the way around? Could. A GFI. But then it'd be still just be a one dice anyway. Three plus three plus to hit the ball without tackle. Nah, I think blitzing him is a good idea. Could even help to base the ball. I think I'd rather base him though, make it hard for him to get a block. I guess I stand him up at the end. Eh? Fuck it. If he dies, he dies. This espionage. Yeah, Andy had to. He was he was third. He had he, Andy had to play. Maybe he's regretting not playing last night. He literally had to play this morning because Crimson Fox was first and I was second. So so Andy had to play this morning. 
but I knew he would, which is why I felt I had to play. But as it turns out, I may not have had to play. <laughs> <laughs> At least it took some actions to stun him, I guess. No, oh, that was a nice that was a nice chain, wasn't it? Still only one dice though. Follow the ball carrier. Doesn't really change much, does it? Apart from giving me a two dice on him. <laughs> oh wow, the dodge one dice pow. Fuck you. Holy shit. <laughs> dodge one dice pow stun. Fuck off. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> right, so we'll power him. I could I could do some kind of chain here, couldn't I? D -d -d put him in there. Him in there. And then push him into him. No, it would have to be into him. So it have to be one here, one here. Push him into him, into him. Into him, into him. <laughs> but he'd have two defensive assists. I think the best bet is trying to go around the back. One, two, three, four, five, six GFI. And then he's strength five, so he can get in the guard. Um, but I need a power to be able to do it anyway. Should I move him in there anyway? Base the ball? Yeah, I might as well. Not the pal. A random stun. Oh, I could have just blocked him and then pushed on my sidestep, so I couldn't have done. It wouldn't have achieved really anything of note, would it? He can't sidestep anywhere good, can he? No, he can't. No, he could have sidestepped into a one dice, I guess. <laughs> Fail the fucking pickle. He's failed some pickups with that lad. He needs uh, he needs extra arms. That's that's what <laughs> that's what uh, <laughs> that's what Bespagor needs is uh, extra arms. Bespagor could get a clean two D in the ball, jam toes, but he didn't have wrestle, did he? That was the key thing. Yeah, if Andy loses, he's out because he's he's played less games than than me and Crimson Fox. If Andy draws, <laughs> if Andy draws, then Andy is on seventy nine point three nine. If Crimson Fox loses, he's on seventy nine point zero eight. So a draw would be good enough for Andy, but he's two 0 down versus Elves. So I don't see how he possibly can. Um, if I lose, I'm on seventy eight point two three. But if Andy loses on 77.78, if I draw, I'm on 79.48. So a draw is good enough for me if Andy draws. Which again, I don't even see how he can. So a draw is good enough. 
He's, de- he's not going to win, is he? He can't win if he's 2 0 down versus Ellsworth. He's 2 1, 5 turns left. Alright, he can draw then. Two one down. So he might get a draw. So a draw here will be good enough. He might get the chance of a win as well. He might get I mean he'll start the game, won't he? He's gotta start the game after this and he might get a fast win, you never know. Oh fuck me. <laughs> this fucking this fucking uh Blitzer just one dice and everybody. What a motherfucker. Yeah, so you can get a draw then. Shit. Yeah, he's got to start because he might just get a concession win, might not he? So there's still a chance for for Andy if he gets a draw and then a win in the last second. Fucking hell. <laughs> I guess I should start another game as well just in case I get a concession win. Or what? No, I've got to sit on it now. Yeah, they, uh, thanks for that. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it is. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it would be outrageous. There would definitely be accusations of match fixing then, but it could happen, couldn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to get the scatter here, see what happens. And I'm going to do it in a glorious way of a claw on my hit. Right, safe moves first. Oh, baby. Fash would be so proud. This is more important to not fail. And I could always greed the block. You know? That guy might dodge or something. I'm not going to greet the block. Obviously not. Right, he's not going to. He's not going to dodge. So what's this then? Pick up, dodge out. And then he GFIs to screen. So I could move his GFI first. Could go there. So I could GFI first then. And there's a tackle zone on the board, isn't there? At least go to there. He can just run around for a one dice, can't he? It's hard for him to get a two dice though. Yeah, I disagree on pick up first because I had the team reroll. I had the show hands for the pick up, didn't I? That was the thing. I had the team reroll for the GFI, but I had the skill reroll for the pick up, didn't I? Oh god, Fash, that's a very good idea. Dirty dingo. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
even if he had got the ball free. Which he didn't. <laughs> oh no. Drop a point of fan factor too. Oh yeah, BZO, that's a good in fact just conceding before the end is a good idea just to uh just to drop your fan factor, isn't it? But yeah, look, if you could, you could match fix by by just staying staying away. Oh god, that would be really good. That is a very good tactic, Fashbinder. He freed him up for us. Right, any safe moves to be made? This guy, I guess. Come around there so we can block him. Oh, there, so we can block him is probably better, isn't it? Got to go for the most important block first, haven't I? Right. <laughs> this being the most important block. So he can only base. So I could stall it for another turn. Or I could just score and win. It's probably worth it, isn't it? Just wins certain now. It probably does look safe enough to, to farm a touchdown. But at least now it's just done. It's just fucking done, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess he'll draw now that he's only 2-1 down. Nine versus... Nine at the end of the match. <laughs> Nuts. The wrestle, the wrestle strength, the strength of all wrestle frenzy has been pretty fucking amazing, hasn't he, to be honest. I guess I should have gone all the back or something. Yeah, that's true, Hades Trooper. <laughs> that's true. Oh, hello, by the way. Yeah, I think... Uh, and also inducing the wizard was huge, wasn't it? Because I'd, I mean, I'd have been fucked. I'd have been fucked when that wizard hit. Um, if I didn't have a wizard of my own that was just perfect. That hit four out of four. <laughs> including a KO. So like my wizard, not only, not only was it crucial in terms of uh, getting the result, it was also, cru it was also like just unbelievable unbelievably successful it was giving me a, it gave me a chance and it was unbelievably powerful yeah obviously yeah obviously I mean and the deep kick as well it'd been tough even without the blitz to, to three turn but yeah obviously here was uh was good glorious With that TD, we need some noise. Robot voice, lady chanting. W O O O. Chan. Jim Chan. Glorious. Thank you, Jam Toast, uh, for the resub. Four, four months is slightly more, isn't it? There's a gap, but thank you very much, Jam Toast. Yeah, how do you get these deep kicks? That's why I don't take fucking kick, because you get deep kicks half the time anyway, don't you? Literally half the time you get a deep kick. So, 
I just don't care about cake. It just doesn't do enough. I don't think. So, yeah. Like, obviously, there's the time where you give away fucking kickback, touchbacks and stuff, and you get ones that, but really, I find kick not that good. Rather rely on luck. <laughs> For how often you need it. That's the point, isn't it? <sighs> oh god <sighs> thank god for that kick to a ward answer yeah yeah Lil Baz I think fouling could be the order of the day now there's just not enough time for dwarves to score is there Maybe just run everybody away. Maybe just claw point. Foul here is difficult without offering up somebody for a hit or a surf, isn't it? It's just a plus one assist. Good. Safe. <laughs> I imagine just being shit jam toast like like most of his opponents have done and a lot of mine have to be fair Yeah, I'm not often the best one seems the right call now, but when it was... <laughs> I mean, it's easier to say that, isn't it, obviously, because it wasn't a perm, but I think I did need him to win. Well, obviously, I didn't need him to win, but I got the blitz. Got some good dice. Playing pretty well. Wow. A rarity. <laughs> It's the right call when you get two blitzes, yeah. Been pretty lucky to be fair. After the first, the first few turns were horrible. Taking like, and I mean, still taking a fair amount of removals, to be honest. But um, the first few turns were just absolutely horrible, weren't they? Oh man.
What happens when I greed? Lost that feel. It's looking good now. This is obviously a win. 2 0 up. And looks like Andy's drawn. So. Crim I don't know what the status is of Crimson Fox. But um, he played two games in the middle of the night. <laughs> or two, one game last night and one game this morning. One of the two. Alright, just two fouls then. So much for running away and keeping people safe. Just get everyone knocked down and fouled. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop. Oh, I was fucked. Yeah, the football games were radio. Yeah, that's right. Those were the days, weren't they? I just stayed down. On it. It's not worth letting a mighty blow hit as well as foul, is it? No, I couldn't run away, I don't think. Maybe if I'd... No, I would have got Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow blitzed. Okay, old. It was unlikely to take a perm off, it was. That's what I thought. lost so didn't have to play this game but um nah freak it wasn't 60 it was, there was there was a time obviously you know there was a time before people had tvs on their mobile phones and internet on the mobile phones and what they would do is when they were at a football match they would have a radio with them so that they could hear what the result of the match were. You didn't need to be 90. But now, of course, with the internet, you can just see. You can watch another game, can't you, while you're at a game? <laughs> huh. Well, GG, Hades Trooper. <sighs> oh, God. I got really lucky, to be fair. To be fair to Hades Trooper, I'd probably be pissed if I was in. But that first half was so stressful. It was unbelievable. Just, you know, my, the drive was in tatters, wasn't it? And it was only the, the scummed wizard that saved me. But, uh, oh, I <laughs> got, got a dirty player for that. That, that was pretty good. So to take no perms in that game is pretty nice as well, to be honest. Revenge was a surprise to you, did it? It was the only, I thought it was the only thing, the chance I had of salvaging the drive at all. I, I, I did it instantly as well, didn't I? I thought it was literally the only chance I had to salvage the, I mean, the drive was absolutely fucking stopped in shreds and I needed to like get, you know, lots of lots of fucking knockdowns from it. it had to be a good wizard, and it was unbelievable. Obviously, I was very very lucky with the wizard. Um, but yeah, I thought it was definitely the right time to use it. Two rookies could get two dirty players. Um, see what they are anyway. Even though I'm not going to take them now. Edge, oh, interesting. Not bad. <laughs> Maybe not bad. Depends. Depends who I'm playing. An edge could be. 
could be useful having an elf, depending on the matchup and TVs and everything. Could just be another guard though. That, I mean, it could be two guards at the end of the day. If I'm playing dwarves in the first round, it's probably two dwarves. It's probably two guards, isn't it? If I'm playing wood elves, maybe it's a tackle and a dirty player or something, or wrestle and a dirty player or something. But um, whew. <sighs> fucking crazy. Yeah, you were you were ridiculously uh, ridiculously unlucky with the with well with dodges and GFIs, but then also. You know, lucky with one dice block, so it averages out, I guess. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.